Well, previously I've shown how to make an intercom, and this time it's going to be walkie-talkies. So let's get right to it. And like I mentioned in all of my other tutorials, right now as I'm recording this, this is a beta feature. The audio API is a beta feature, so you have to go into the file, beta features, and just scroll down to the new audio API and enable it right here. And you also need voice chat for these walkie-talkies to work, and you need to have the voice chat service inside of the explorer window right here. And you want to have the use audio API set to enabled. There is also the enable default voice, and if this one is enabled, it creates the mic input instance, or rather audio device input instance, inside of the player, and also the audio emitter inside of the player's character. But I already have a script, which basically gets that done for us, and I would rather have this use default voice disabled, so I can create the instances myself, because this allows me to have more control over the system, as well as not have 20 different if statements to basically just check if the player has the mic input, the mic emitter, and yeah. But that is basically all we need right here, inside of the player character appearance loaded function, inside of a script that's in the server script service. And for this mic emitter, the audio interaction group, I will be using this mic group for the walkie talkies later. And this add filter function, also the other comments are from the voice chat filters. But let's move to the remove wire script, which is a local script inside of the starter player. What this remove wire does, since we are basically just making the, and I'm going to remove this one because this is for an intercom, but since we are making this wire right here, that's connected the mic input and the mic emitter. What happens if we don't remove the wire is that our character is going to be able to hear our own voice chat. So for right now, removing the wire locally is a solution to basically just not hear your own voice when talking. And there is also a case if the user doesn't have voice chat but we look for the mic input instance. And that's why the wait for child is right here because if it's going to time out and not find the mic input, it's going to return nil, so we need this if check right there. Then basically the player has the voice chat, we remove the wire locally. So that's the setup of voice chat with the new audio API. And I'm just going to remove this setup and let's get to making the walkie talkie. So I'm only going to use a part, I'm not going to make a whole model. And I'm basically just going to have this handle right here that's going to be our walkie talkie. Right now I'm just going to have this as a neon, then just remove its collision and the shadow and rename it to handle and this is going to be a tools handle so it's going to be in the starter pack so i need to add a tool and just move the handle inside of the tool right here and also make sure that the handle isn't anchored so if i do a play test we are going to have the tool part right there and if i equip it it's just going to be this part so let's just make it a walkie talkie right now and there is two things that the walkie talkie needs to do one is that the walkie talkie needs to listen to our audio and the other one is that it needs to play back the audio of other people talking to different walkie talkies so this handle needs to have an audio listener as well as an audio emitter and with these two instances right here, I personally haven't really found a way to have more than two people basically speak to each other through walkie talkies. And I don't think if it's even possible yet, because we would need something like an audio hub to basically just render multiple sources and transfer them into one basically static channel. But if anyone wants to give a solution for this, basically you can just comment down below, because this is just going to be like a basically one way through one walkie talkie to another. And since I've already shown how this basically just tool works, I don't need to have it in the starter pack anymore. I'm just going to make it so the player can basically just pick this up. And I need to name this one Walkie One. And I'm going to do something really quickly that I should have done also in my intercom video, but I just forgot about it. And thanks to someone who pointed that out that I should add voice filters into these systems. So I'm going to show up and add basically the voice filters into Walkie Talkies. But we basically just have the audio emitter and the audio listener. So let's make a folder. And this one will be just named Effects. And we can give it like an audio distortion a bit of audio compressor, or maybe not the compressor, maybe the equalizer, and let's just give it a bit of a reverb. And I will just change few of the reverb settings so the effect isn't too big, and this should be good I think. And now before I make the other walkie, I'm just going to add a script into the handle, and this one will be on equip. And I'm just going to move it on the side right here. So basically the handle is going to be the script that parent, and the tool is the handle.parent. 
Right now I'm going to actually just anchor the walkie talkie so it's going to be basically just static in place and then just in the script do tool that equipped and then connect a function and I'm going to make the handle that anchored equal to false because I just don't need to basically weld the walkie talkie to another different part and you get the idea. But let's also get a tool activated even. And let's make a variable. Where the walkie talkie is not going to be active at first. And then the active is going to be changed to not active. And then we also need the audio listener. Since like I said previously there is the audio interaction group. That's set to the mic group right here. So I'm just going to make the group name. And right now I'm going to do something that's called a ternary operator, which is going to be a local variable named set group, which is going to be equal to active and then the group name or an empty string. And what this line of code does, think of it like an if statement. It's basically going to be if active, so if active is set to true, then it's going to be the group name. But if active is going to be set to false, then it's going to be empty. And now I need a reference to the audio listener. So then we set the listener, that audio interaction group, is going to be equal to the set group. And then just to show you how the ternary works, and to indicate that the walkie talkie is on, I'm also going to make a color. First I'm actually just going to make this one red. Then in the color field at new, if it's going to be active, then it's going to be changed to green. Maybe just leave it at zero. Or it's going to be color field at new. From basically just red, which is going to be 100. Like this. Then I just do handle that color is equal to new color. So I'm going to just do a playtest right now. And I'm going to just pick up the walkie talkie. And it's gonna be inside of my character right there. And right now if I activate it, it's going to turn green. And if I activate it again, it's going to be red. So it's going to be switching between like this. Right, and then we also have the interaction group inside of the audio listener. So when it's red, it's going to be none. But when it's green, it's going to have the mic group. Like this. And me setting this mic group right here means that it's going to listen to my audio. And then you would also think that setting the group to basically nil would make it so the walkie talkie is going to listen to every audio there is and you would be right. We kind of just don't want that. So instead of changing it to an empty string because we only want the walkie to listen to our voice and basically just nothing else but when you set it to an empty string it's going to listen to that something else so you just want to change it to basically just whatever. Let's just have it as a placeholder group like this. And that is the logic of having the walkie talkie on or off and right now let's also make walkie number 2. And the tricky part about this is that this audio listener needs to be connected to that audio emitter. And this audio listener is going to be connected to this audio emitter instead. So let's just start off by naming this. Or actually I'm just going to delete this one again and rename this instance. So I only need to change one letter later. But before I actually just duplicate it I'm going to connect the easy parts together first which is going to be basically these filters connected to this listener because we need to connect the last filter to the other audio emitter in the walkie talkie number 2. So let's add a wire to each of these instances and this distortion, the source is going to be the listener and the target is going to be the distortion. Then this source is going to be the distortion into the equalizer then from the equalizer into the reverb. And now I need to duplicate it and let me just rename these instances really quickly and let's just hide these wires. So the last instance that was connected was the reverb. So each of these emitters also needs to have a wire that's connected from the other walkie talkies reverb into the emitter itself. So again this emitter we add a wire in the emitter 2, the source instance is going to be the reverb 1 and the target instance is going to be the emitter. And that's how a walkie talkie is going to go through the basically all of these filters. And let's also not forget to change the names in the scripts after. 
anyway, this is going to be the listener one, and this one is going to be the listener two. And let me just publish this to Roblox. And right now the remove wire script is disabled, so I can just test it with my own voice and show it to you. Since I am going to be able to hear myself right now if I talk in the voice chat, since the wire isn't removed locally, so let's just do that. Okay, that was a complete disaster and that's because I didn't set the listeners audio interaction group to basically that whatever. And maybe I should have thought about it that one walkie talkie should actually be enabled by default for now, since I'm testing this alone. So I'm just going to change this listener audio interaction group to be my group by default. And it will be green too. And don't tell me that I didn't set the interaction. Oh yeah, I didn't. Okay, so one last step that you need to do is set the mic interaction group for the player. And I forgot to set it, although I literally said that the walkies are going to use this interaction group. But anyways. So now I publish this place. Okay, so let's have the second attempt now. And as usual, I'm going to mute myself on the OBS. Okay, okay so I'm going, going to be able, able to hear myself, myself from this one. As well as this one right here. And maybe I just overrated the effects. But you can hear my voice basically just coming out from this one. And let me demonstrate how the walkies work with a person now. But basically, these are the walkie talkies. You can like pick one. I'm gonna pick the other and let's mute ourselves on Discord. Mm. When you okay. press, when it's green, it's gonna catch your microphone. Hello. Oh my god, hello. Oh my god, it's so loud. I think I overdid the filters. No, no, it's a little loud. It's yeah, like, that's so awesome. That is, that is actually like, really cool. You can do so much like stuff with this. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't be able to hear me right now when I start start talking in a bit. I'm talking right now, right? You you can't hear me. I can't hear you, but but it's from my like. Very yeah, be it's because yeah, it's because of my voice chat and not the walkie talkie. Oh, okay. All right. I don't know what it was, but it sounded so funny when you were like really quiet. I mean, there is like still some bugs with the, you know, audio API. Uh, I had like a yeah. bug where when I disabled the walkie talkie, it was still rendering my audio in some places. Oh. When mm -hmm. the walkie talkie was disabled, you know. And wait, I need to check something. I think like it was so loud because I like... I added like a high dry level on reverb, so I think that's why. Oh. But yeah, that's basically how you make the walkie talkies. So as usual, if you found this tutorial informative, then please leave a like. You can also become a channel member. And yeah, hope you guys had a nice day and see ya.